we've gotten a new Star Citizen Alpha 3.22 patch going into Evo Kadi not too long ago and this one is actually pretty interesting let's get straight into it big shout out to the pipeline discord channel for getting this patch note out pretty quickly so this one the testing focus has two additions actually the very first one is salvage structural next is procedural fps recoil and fps weapon balance and the arena commander multi crew that's one of the big ones that i'm really excited about and stability testing all right so features that are not ready for feedback is player hair update new derelict settlements and inventory openable cargo containers there's a lot of known issues which we will not cover in this video so under new features in the gameplay category they have procedural weapon recoil and fps combat balance before we move forward i'd like you all to know that the channel goal for this year is to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year cannot do it without you guys so if you regularly watch content from this channel please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button let's move on so it says here introduction of procedural weapon aim recoil to fps combat with this update we will overhaul the recoil of majority of the weapons to use the new and improved procedural recoil tool shown at citizen con this will improve the diversity of weapon sandbox allowing each weapon to fulfill a more specific and niche role whilst allowing for more intense visual recoil interesting it says here overall you will find greater weapon variety in how weapons play and feel with tweaks such, such as weapons now having consistent recoil pattern and the removal of ads spread interesting it also says here full weapon reworks it says the arc light pistol has had a full rework and is now a burst pistol with an alt fire mode for single fire and the lh86 pistol is now fully automatic next it says fire rate changes so the damico s71 and p4ar have been all reworked to increase their fire rate luminous v burst delay has been decreased interesting 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 the damical with the fire rate increase and the p4 this is gonna be crazy i gotta see this so also they also have force reaction update forces have been tweaked across range of weapons to make knockdown only occur in situations where that would feel that should occur this should appear as an overall reduction in staggering and knockdowns other changes include balances of sniper rifles to avoid players in heavy armor being one shot when hit by a sniper rifle while still allowing this to happen to players wearing medium armor interesting okay it says here along with the weapon balance changes we have adjusted player health damage modifiers and medical to increase time to kill that's interesting it also says here damage modifiers have been adjusted to allow for a more consistent fire fight and times removed increased stamina cost on limb hp pool being low removed movement speed penalty on limb hp pool being low and medical pens will now fully heal players interesting okay it's gonna be different fps is gonna be different um can't wait to actually get to test this out i'm really interested to see how things play out now let's move on so so now under structural salvage it says further ui and vfx polish pass uses all to fade out debris pieces before they are destroyed by disintegration adjusted the brake force and field size for the reclaimer bigger it says they add target distance binding for salvage targets relative to the field emitter point and further mining balance pass also has been done so now in the bug fix category they put in further fixes to help resolve wheeled ground vehicle continuously vibrating when stationary on services in gravity they fixed this area and lighting on freelancer cockpit and rear ramp they also fixed the uh, various vehicle spawns with wings and engines and landing gear in their in-flight state instead of their landed state when retrieved from the asop it's a good fix they fix an issue where when a non-default tint is applied to the vulture interior lights are reflected and obscured vision on the cockpit glass that's a good fix they also fix an issue where the entire asphalt surface at the ground level is missing 
collision allow players to go under the map along with this they also have two client crashes and two server crashes in addition in addition they also have some updates for arena commander other gameplay features they have the new multi-crew spawn location so here's what it says it says updating all maps to utilize a new spawn location system for spawn selection this update enables long-awaited introduction of multi-crew two squadron battle team tank battle free flight and swarm modes and expands them all to include large variety of crewable ships interesting this is i'm telling you guys this is going to be a big feature hopefully these the um network performance is pretty good this way we can have some really intense battles that are not clunky so this is what i really hope for it continues to say players have the ability to enable multi-crew spawning on their selected ships and other players in the match and on your team will have the ability to select turrets and crew positions interesting man we're actually going to have some hammerhead versus hammerhead situations in arena commander that's going to be really interesting and some fighters also that would be awesome man so it says in game vehicle selection also says here gone are the days when forgetting to pick your vehicle before the game starts locked you into a fierce battle of cat and mouse in-game vehicle selection now allows you to pick which vehicle you want to use in game and switch between respawns in all dogfight modes this includes a new slot system allowing you to switch and customize between four vehicle slots interesting arena commander will also remember your selection between matches per mode this is huge man cannot wait to actually get my hands on this before I let you go, I'd like to remind you guys that my organization, Phase 1 Industries, is now recruiting new and veteran players. If you're interested, you can find our Discord in the description down below. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.